Hello, I'm Rich Dean with West Coast Collector Cars in Oregon, and today I have an extremely nice 1955 Chevrolet 210 hardtop gasser to show you. Now, uh, if you've watched some of my videos, you may have noticed, uh, or if you saw them, I had a collection of cars that were built by a company here locally, a very fine company, they do excellent work, they build hot rods, they build stock vehicles if you want, they're very high end, they use nothing but quality components, and the reason I say that is that particular company built this car as well, and uh, they used, again, very high quality products to do so. So, I want to take you around and show you this very special car, it's very nice, very unique, very cool, uh, it kind of harkens back to the 1960s, uh, a lot of the traits that you'll see here, uh, are everything is brand new. But we wanted to have it, it wanted, you know, to look like it would have been in uh, probably the early 60s for a gasser. So anyway, uh, let me show you the car. Uh, this is a street car. It has not been raced or anything. Uh, it's really a showpiece is what it is. But the paint, very high quality. Uh, I don't have to show you. You can definitely see the depth there. Towel here. I mean, it's just no swirl marks, nothing. All the glass is new. All of the uh, stainless, the trim, and bright work is new. Everything is either re-chromed or brand new. It's excellent. Now, this hood scoop, uh, if you're familiar with the movie Tulane Blacktop, and I mentioned this in the text ad, a uh, very cool movie, and, and uh, all of us that uh, kind of like, uh, you know, hot rods and so forth are very familiar with it, 1971. Uh, it was a movie that starred James Taylor, uh, the singer and the drummer for the Beach Boys, Dennis Wilson, and they raced a 55 Chevy like this uh, for money and, and so forth. And they wound up racing across the country with a GTO, a 70 GTO judge driven by Warren Oates. And what they did here, uh, now, of course, this car's black, and the two-lane blacktop car in the movie is primer gray, so my wife calls this the glamour shot of the two-lane blacktop car, which, that's a good description. So this hood, again, this hood is uh, uh, the same style they used in the movie, and what these guys did to get the proportions correct is they found a correct proportionate model, and they took their micrometers and measured it and then blew it up to get this exact uh, hood scoop. Now, this hood does tilt forward like it should, but it's not fiberglass. This is an all-metal hood. And, of course, the scoop is all metal as well. But getting back to the car, uh, wheels and tires, uh, these are weld slots, uh, polished. The, this car does have front disc brakes on it. Uh, you can see up in there, uh, you know, the engine's kind of easy to see. But I'm going to, we'll, we'll open the hood here in a little bit, and I'll show that to you. Uh, the engine is a 502, uh, built uh, to 550 to 600 horsepower. Uh, it's very strong, runs very well. Wish my new car started as good as this one does. And this has a tunnel ram with a dual quad on it. Uh, this one has, uh, now, notice the door flappers here. I wanted to point this out to you. Bel Air's had that. See how that is? And then you close and your door flaps. That's just kind of a Bel Air trait. Take you inside the interior. All the glass, again, is new. Uh, windows are nice, roll up and down nicely. You got a little bit of tinted glass here, rolls back down, very clean, very nice. Now, uh, the door panels and the seats have this diamond tuck interior, kind of harkening back to, you know, the days when they did a lot of that. Bel Air style dash trim. Everything was just done so nicely. Bel Air bows, nice chrome bows, headliners, excellent. Again, this is a very high-end build. They did a very quality job. Doors close nice, shut lines are nice and even. 
again this would be the 210 style trim here excellent the paint is beautiful and deep again we have uh, weld slots here these are 31 inch by uh, 31 inch tire by 18 wide so they're very wide notice they radius the uh, fender wells and they did a nice roll lip here very quality work All the chrome is excellent. Everything is new. Show you inside the trunk. Uh, this is a 15 gallon fuel cell and it does have a uh, uh, gauge for it in up front. I'll show you that here in a little bit, a fuel gauge. All the wiring was laid out nicely. Of course, all the wiring is brand new. Your MSD box there. All the trenches and so forth are nice. All the fasteners are new, as you can see. This is where the battery is. Trunk closes nice. That's a four nine inch differential down there. Uh, four eleven gear ratio. Of course, uh, traction lock. Uh, you know, Ford's posi. Uh, these are thirty one spline Dutchman axles on here. The transmission is a. Uh, Borg Warner Super T10, uh, four speed. Uh, so of course it's aluminum case. That was the Super T10 versus just the T10. Uh, very strong transmission. Again, everything rebuilt or brand new on this car during the build. And uh, you know, there's just if you go to the website westcoastcollectorcars.com, I should point out I've got pictures of the undercarriage. So I want you to see that too. Very nice quality work. The welds are excellent. Uh, it's got a speedway, uh, straight axle front end, uh, of course all new shocks, coilovers in the rear as well as, uh, you know, up front, not coilovers up front, but uh, new shocks up front as well. Uh, it, it's just a, a very fine car. Drives really nice too. You know, you look at this thing and think, man, that thing must be a monster to build. I mean, my wife drives it. It's just easy to drive. Uh, got a classic uh, foam steering wheel like they would have had in the two-lane blacktop car. So. Uh, yeah, this is just a fun car. It gets attention wherever you go, obviously. You go down the road and people just, you know, stare at it, of course. That was kind of fun, you know, collecting these nostalgic stickers, so I put these on. And because the car is a West Coast car, I predominantly used West Coast. There was a couple of really cool ones like this uh, Dragway, which, of course, is in Michigan. But for the most part, uh, most all of these are West Coast stickers. Not too close. You don't focus. Take in the driver's side here. Of course, all your weather stripping is new. Again, all your door cranks and so forth. Excellent. Uh, the gauges in the dash work, your speedometer works, of course, uh, fuel gauge. Uh, this tack here, that is a Sun tack, and it was completely restored. And, of course, a lot of the old tacks don't like electronic ignition like this car has, but that one does work just right. Those are uh, Stuart Warner Greenline gauges like you would have found in the 1960s, and they all work. That's a low-car uh, gas pedal there. Those are uh, Bel Air style uh, courtesy lights there, as you can see. So let me go around front here. Again, doors close nice, your little flappers work good.
Up front here, of course, your chrome grill is excellent. All the chrome trim is, is perfect, as well as all the surrounds and, and lenses and so forth. You know, you wouldn't have had a front bumper on a gasser, most likely. Uh, the point, uh, and then this, the chrome here, all nice on the bird. Beautiful. Uh, you might be able to see some of that front suspension down there. And if you don't know, and you probably do, but I'll tell you anyway, the idea of this sitting up high like that, uh, the idea was to try to shift some of the weight of the engine back toward the rear of the car. You know, better traction and so forth. That was uh, basically uh, most of all the ideas they had back then. But it really gives it an ominous look. Very tough car, very mean looking. But uh, what I'd like to do now is I'll hop in the car and I'll just drive around the parking lot. You'll get to hear it start, hear it run, and so forth. But uh, it takes two of us to uh, open the hood. So what we'll do is we're going to come back, and then we'll set the camera down, and we'll show you opening the hood, and then I'll be able to show you the engine. like to be able to show you the some of the capabilities of the car but uh, I certainly can't do that in here and, and to be honest with you it's very strong and when you drive a car like this you know you want to be very careful because uh, yeah it uh, has a lot of power you know <laughs> but uh, we're gonna open the hood for you has these hood pins uh, you take these off like this Pull those out carefully. I'll grab this uh, little stool we have here so we can we don't have to stop the camera. I don't like editing. I'd rather have you just see a nice stream.
Again, this is an all metal hood. It's not fiberglass. So I guess that's part of why it maybe it, it fits well all the time. You know, you're not constantly adjusting it. But uh, let me show you this engine now. <clears throat> Again, this is a 502. It's about 550 to 600 horse. Uh, I've got a MSD Pro Billet distributor there. Twin Holly carburetors. Those are 4160s. Uh, the old school Mickey Thompson finned aluminum valve covers. That's a Wyand uh, tunnel ram. This is uh, the box for the Sun Tac, but in as much as it's now an electronic ignition, this is really just serving a purpose as sort of a little junction block. You know, it's not really operating the tack, but you'll notice nice new shocks. The frame is fully boxed. Everything is very clean. You got a nice big new aluminum radiator there. Chrome overflow. I'm telling you, this is a brand new car. I mean, it's it's got 1,614 miles on it, and I think predominantly that was used to go back and forth to a car show, which, by the way, that's what you want to do with this thing. You People at car shows just love this car. I uh, always thought it'd be kind of cool to take it to hot August nights, you know, and, and run around. But man, I don't know. I'm always a little reluctant to leave it parked somewhere. But uh, absolutely uh, a beautiful car. Let me take you around just while we're here. I'll show you the other side of the engine. I want you to see everything. <clears throat> Got a dual reservoir master cylinder, and of course these are hooker uh, super competition headers, fender well headers that come back, which is what the gassers had. And even you can see in here, see how nice the paint is even in here. You know they just did a just a quality job. It's a it's a beautiful car. No issues. Um, Again, you know, wiring and everything is all up to date, brand new, excellent. But if I can answer any further questions for you about this 1955 Chevy Gasser, don't hesitate to give me a call. Um, I think I've shown you about everything I can think of. You really need to check the website so you can see the undercarriage and, and just see how nice and clean it is. The car's never been driven in the rain or anything like that. Of course, you wouldn't want to drive in the rain. Uh, clutch works excellent. Everything is new. The clutch is new. Uh, it, uh, you know, it just shifts nice. Again, very strong. It's definitely going to garner a lot of attention. So, uh, again, uh, if I can answer any questions, don't hesitate to call me. My name is Rich Dean. This is West Coast Collector Cars. My number is 503-851-6763. And thank you for watching today.